Hello and welcome to this mod first look at the new GPS. So we've already looked at GPS in 19 once, but this one is the first official release on Mod Hub. There's been a few changes to it. So I thought it would be a good idea for us to take a look at it again and just see how this new system operates. So <clears throat> could be using this Massey 7726, it is the modded one. We've got the Kuhn Discolander discs here. So it's six meters. So first things first, we'll get in the tractor and straight away you can see just above the <coughs> vehicle icons at the bottom right hand corner, we've now got some GPS icons. So in there, we now cannot open the HUD unless we've actually turned on GPS. So we need to activate the GPS first, which is Alt and C. You'll see the little green light come on there. We can now <coughs> either Control and S, which is the key bind I've set, but I've also got a load on my joystick for this, which are the ones I usually use. You can see the HUD has completely changed. There's some new features in here. So we've got a snap train angle. So that will be basically going with the grid angles set in the game. You should have that off. We've got a headland stop distance set at 9 metres, so this will actually stop the tractor dead 9 metres before it reaches the end of the field. So tractor 9 metres, the disc's are about 12 when we stop. As you can see I've had a little play with this on here over this side. Auto width is exactly the same as it was, we've got offset, we can invert it so flip it left to right as well if we so wish. So with this you can <clears throat> do it that way or you can set some key binds. This is where it gets a bit different. So if we click on that one, we've got AB straight is still the only choice, there's no adaptive curves or anything in there yet. We've got A to B which is how the existing one has been operated up to now. But we've also got another function there which we'll have a look at in a moment. So to start with, we'll have a play with this one. So we'll get the tractor started. So you see it was set for 5.98. So we've got discs in the ground. Same as before, we can do the Alt. Can't do Alt and E now. I'll use the ones on my joystick, which I've got set to the trigger on it. <clears throat> so press once to reset, twice sets A. And third time, says B, press the X button on my steering wheel, and away we go. <clears throat> so exactly as it was before, nice and simple. This is the bit I like when we get to this end. So of course this is console, uh, not for console, PC only. Of course I've had straight for the uh, trailer, of course. I'll just miss it. I'll just go beneath that. You see that stop dead there. Nine metres to the end. Lift it up. Turn off the GPS. <coughs> And we can go back round again. So I'll pull the bells with it, obviously. So it won't tell you where to set in again. You can pick that up from what's there. That's certainly a useful feature when we're doing this sort of thing of drilling and get ourselves to set headland around the field. So I do like that additional feature to it. <clears throat> so we'll keep that mail travelling up now. Slowly working this way around. It's moving off the field. So 
Let's suddenly stop. And the centre of the GPS gets to 9 metres there. So you have to turn the GPS before, off before it moves again. <clears throat> so that's the A to B setting. Now we've got this other one. So let's get up onto this other setting. A, B straight, we want to go A heading. So let's get rid of that. So set cardinal. This should, if we press the right button, so set A there, we put, I now say, Let's go 45, let's get rid of the zero, this should be how it all works. Let's go put a 45 degree line across the field, straight away. So if we do it again, we're pressing that, press it a second time, now let's go 225 and see what hap happens. Okay, we've got a line there. So you can set a line that way as well. So whichever direction you want to go in, this is just another way of doing it if you want to do it. Set an A point then it'll put your line in for you. Do it in there. You now got a 75 degree line there. So whichever way you want to set it, you need to do it by setting your A to B, or you can set your cardinal degrees line on whatever angle you want on the map. So it's a bit of a new feature to it, but it could be a useful one. Entirely personal preference how you do that. And we'll go through a couple of other settings in it in a moment. First things first, we'll go and grab the plow. This form of GPS looks quite easy once you get your head round up. Hopefully these wops is going to be working on another version of it. No, it would be nice to see adaptive curve coming in. Those of you who use GPS in the real world will know exactly what I mean by adaptive curve. What I mean is say this was a field this curve we're going at, the GPS would record it the first time then it would set the whole pattern up for the rest of the field if you want to stay with it. So I am aware this tractor is uh, a little bit on the small side for this plow. <clears throat> but I wanted to plow what needed a good offset to try this out. Let's reset that for a second. We'll put it back onto the AB line for it. setting where we finished with the Stigers the other week on this map. Distance textures for oats are still all screwed up for some reason. Put that unfolded. Setting just the other side of this straw. Might actually be space there. So I'll put it back onto. Well, we can either do set A, B, or we can set the cardinal. So we know it's going to be 90 degrees across here. <coughs> so 
So auto width first, we'll do it in the FUD so you can see what's going on. So into there, auto width 4.64. It's giving us a uh, 0.14 of a meter offset. So let's see what happens, shall we? So we can always adjust that. Go back to set AB. <clears throat> that offset is nowhere near big enough. So we just need to adjust that. So we can go let's try try to remember what we've had before. Let's go four four. Let's see what happens. So we now can set our point A. And set our point B. Let's just put it onto GPS and see which line it goes on. One, so open that up again. Let's flip it that way. I think we should be right. What full foot offset? Which could be a bit on the large side. But what we can do, which is another feature list, if we get into the key bindings this one come down to GS we can realign the track or we can shift it left right increase decreases and left alt key so we need to just shift the track right a little bit here so that's left alt page up so left alt and page up So the line is there. Just continual adjustments with it. I think what's actually happened is we're going to slightly different angle to what we were before. I guess. So what we'll do is get to the other end. turn around and see how this matches up because we are going at a very different angle to where we were before just make sure it matches up when we turn around not sure if it's going to or not Side that wants to stop there. We're going to keep going this time. So that's the headland function again. So you can make it bigger by putting in the bigger width if you so wish. Turn the player over. Let's see what happens when we set back in. So, I'll say the offset's probably a little bit on the big side, but it's matching up. Just. So we just go in and minus that a bit. So let's, uh, a bit small now. Go 
let's try that one. Just moves across a little bit more. So they are all matched up. It's just as easy to match things up with, just needs a little bit of playing with to get your measurements right. So anything the plow could be set a bit wide. What should this plow be? So just double check the width on that because that isn't going to help. 4.9. We were set on 4.64, so it should be right. That matched up and working fine. Still has the same problem as enhanced driving mod where if you don't disengage the GPS it will keep going forwards overrides it so it should bring us to hold somewhere around there so good way back Goes to GPS. What I should get us to do now is if we get ourselves turned around, the bail stack could cause a problem. Turn the bar over. We should be able to set back in so we can match it up. Push it into GPS. V-shaped matching there. So it still has 15 grand or oh, 15,000 pound price. They said 15 grand, same thing. That's what adds to the tractor. But it seems to work fine. So I think we can live with that. I'm wondering if this plough is actually out as wide as width at the moment. But it's all good. And of course everything does, you still do the old uh, press zero to hide HUD, it all hides. So the GPS disappears off the side. There is a readme file on the GitHub for this still. So you can read how to set things up. One big thing I will tell you in this video is if you have the previous versions of GPS installed, remove them from your mod folder you will get conflicts I could not rebind some keys on here and the only way I could do it was to actually remove the previous versions so if we look at my key bindings I've got them binded onto my Logitech joystick so in here that one I could rebind no problem but these ones I had problems with so we've got the cross on the steering wheel sets the steering on and off. We've got show guidance steering there. That's button 12 on the joystick. Button 1 on the joystick for set the AB, that's the trigger. The PS button on my G29, or the PS4 button basically, sets your auto width and cross activates GPS as well. So that's how I've got it keyed up, but I haven't done anything with these ones on joystick and rear line tracks, just control and home. All and home, I think, actually. There we go, that's GPS, that's how it works. And that's where I'll be leaving this video. So hopefully you found it useful. So for now, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you again in the next one. Goodbye for now.